Good morning, afternoon, or evening, as the case may be, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 with the always acquiescent Mr. Spoopy Skeletal. When we last left our hero, we had picked up the club key, the much coveted, which we will now go and use all over the place. Last time there were a bunch of liquors back here. I don't hear any anymore. Well, we're gonna go back to the puppy pound and pick up that red herb. Uh, we're gonna need it. I also forgot to check here. What do we have? Handgun bullets. Excellent. I just hope the puppies aren't too close. And they are! And they are. No need to kill him. I'm sure he was a good boy. Closed. I believe this key opens up three rooms, and those are going to be the three last final rooms that we're going to use. Hmm. Nothing in that locker. Nothing in this locker. What about this locker? Hey, alright, I wasn't actually expecting there to be anything. It has been a while since I completed this game. So some things still surprise me a little bit. Hello, sir. And here we have the highly effective Magnum. This is going to help us a lot with the boss battles coming up. Um, maybe in a couple of videos. Desert Eagle 50 AE, a high caliber magnum pistol. It uses powerful dot .50 AE rounds by IMI Israel. So we're gonna put this away until we need it for any boss battles. Can't wait to show it off. Watchman's Diary, August 11th. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up in the clock tower rather than that I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with the chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that he's been bothering me about him is the way that he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease or is he just rude? September the 9th. Thomas was much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing that I imagined that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. September 12th. I was surprised to play another game of chess with Thomas. I'm sorry, I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but he had to cancel it because he hadn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. So Thomas was turning into a zombie and spreading the disease to our friend the Night Watchman here. Uh, also, for whatever reason, I seem not to be able to read today. So you'll have to forgive me. I'm a little bit wired. 
So those sugar-free monsters I chug on a daily basis. No, we will not take the ink ribbon. A paper more than a week old. I don't imagine there's any uh, news coming out of Raccoon City. So that was the first door that we needed to unlock. Let's see, is there anything of importance now? I'm gonna try to avoid going to the library. Hmm? And it says this is going to be one of our last times, if not the last time, being in the precinct proper. I'm gonna harvest all the herbs I can for the next act. Who's that skulking in the shadows over there? Oh jeez, dude. I'd rather just avoid him instead of wasting bullets. Uh, now that it's much easier, now that like three of his homeboys aren't here. I remember leaving this behind. We'll harvest that as well. Speaking of, wait a minute. I did miss some more green herbs. Nice try, buddy. Ain't Hannon. There's one more up there, but we don't have the inventory space. Maybe next time we're through here. If we're through here. I seem to be forgetting myself. Now which side are you gonna come from? You're just dumb as hell, aren't you, boy? Okay. Let's go dump all that stuff off. And pick up an extra box of shotgun shells. Not even shells. It's handgun bullets. I feel cheated. Now that we have the extra inventory space, we can keep the shells on us pretty much at all times. So, where's those other two doors? Okay, one is over there. That's it? I thought there were more doors for that key to open. Oh, you know what? We will have to go through the library. 
to get to the clock tower. You will have to do that. You didn't treat me very well last time I was here. Not very hospitable to your local constabulary. there's a red herb yes there is we'll be taking that at this point I'm picking up everything I come across because we're basically done with the precinct well, this is a pretty large room fire here. And so I will. Now oh, this is a puzzle uh, where you have to hit these in order. Why not for later? And there's that cog that we need for the clock tower. A picture of a man on a carriage. Something is on the wheel. Light the queen, the king, and the jack. And the carriage will start running. Queen, king, and jack. So if it's corresponding to playing cards, that would be 12. 13 and 11. The number 12. The number 13. And of course, how can we forget the number 11? Excellent. This is another piece of film, we will take it, and I will likely develop it later just to show you what's on it. Uh, I'm not going to go back through that way where the uh, safe room with the red room is. The red room, the development room. We're not going to be going through there again. But I think I'll do it off screen later on just for posterity, whoever posterity is.
Okay, now I believe as we're going to the library, we will be greeted by a liquor or two. I'll try to avoid at least one of them. <laughs> Good job, Scoops. Well, at least he didn't hurt us too much. Here's why we're not going back that way. I will, later. But you're not gonna see it. So this is the last thing to do in the precinct. There's all those tiny little baby blood hands again. Acquired the final plug necessary for opening that door downstairs. Well, it does shoot. Will you jump down? Yes, we will. We. That was the best we I could muster. No! Uh oh. Get away! Ew, gross! Don't eat that. I heard prison food is terrible, but... What an interesting fellow. story <laughs> Ben <laughs> bitter irony the chief of police and co-conspirator get that scum make him pay hang in there Ben oh my chest it's burning! What's wrong? Good God, what was that? That was mail to the chief. To Mr. Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative, Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members. 
Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. If it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Birkin. Two, Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of Police, Raccoon City Police Department. I have deposited the amount of $10,000 to the account for your services this term as per our agreement. The development of the G-Virus schedule to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the executive board for Umbrella Inc. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. William Birkin. 2. The traitor scum Brian Irons. We have a problem. I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as, I rep as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through a net. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus. Not even Umbrella. William Birkin. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada! Wait! Hey! Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. And on that rather ominous note, I leave you in suspense. Uh, we will be rejoining in the sewer. Thank you for joining me. See ya!